All right, welcome to our last math lesson of this week, which is going to be a math journal all about picture graphs or pictographs. So we worked on two pictographs already this week. One was our ice cream that we did from the week before, and the other one was shapes. Now today, I want you to come up and I want you to do the first three steps in making a graph. So let's review them together. So the first thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to pose a question. So number one, pose a question. Which means come up with a question you want to ask your family. So for example, you, you could ask, what is their favorite um, sport? Soccer, football, baseball, or basketball? And those could be your four options, and then you would draw the ball for each sport. It could be what is your favorite animal out of a lion, a horse, a puppy, and a cat. It could be what is your favorite food out of pizza, hamburgers, popcorn, or hot dogs, and then you draw those food shapes. So the first thing you need to do is come up with a question. What is your question? So I'm gonna do an example. You can pick anything you want. My example is going to be, what is your favorite sport? So my question is going to be, what is your favorite data, which means I'm going to use my tally marks. I'm going to use my tally marks. I'm going to collect my data. So let's do basketball, football, baseball. All right. These are my three options. I'm gonna go to my family. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that three people liked basketball, five people liked football, and only one person liked baseball. So this is my collect the data. Okay, so I pose my question. What's your favorite sport between basketball, football, and baseball? And then I'm gonna collect the data. Three, five, and one. The next one is I'm going to make my graph. So that's make your graph is our last one. Make the graph. And it is going to be a picture graph. All right, similarly to how I made my table for collecting my data, I am going to do a very similar thing for my pictograph. I would just reuse what I already did here. All right, then I would draw. I had four basketballs. One, two, three, four. I had five footballs. one baseball. All right, so I use pictures of those sports to demonstrate how many I had to make my picture, my pictograph. So you can pick any question you want. Think about what you'd like to ask your family and then make your question, collect the data, make your pictograph. I can't wait to see your pictographs and then next week we're going to start learning about all of the things that our graphs need to have, like the title and are they labeled. So we'll talk all about that. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.